Hello students, in this video we will be continuing with the chapter of propositional logic. So a few terms which I want to discuss here are antecedent and consequent. What is an antecedent and what a consequent is? If a conditional proposition is such that A implies B, then the proposition A will be called as antecedent and the proposition B will be called as consequent. That means before the arrow comes the antecedent and after the arrow comes the consequent. Now the next term which you should know is converse. The conditional statement obtained after interchanging the antecedent and the consequent is called the converse statement that means if a implies to b then its converse is b implies to a this is called as converse understood next is inverse Inverse, the inverse of a given conditional is a new conditional whose antecedent and consequent are the negation of the original conditional. What does this mean? If A implies to B, if this is the original condition, then its inverse will be. Inverse is A complement implies to B complement. This is called as the inverse of this condition. Next is contrapositive. What happens here? If the condition is such that A implies to B, then its contrapositive is we have to change B implies to A as well as put a complement there. B complement implies to A complement. This is called as the contrapositive. If I read it in the statement form, a new conditional statement obtained whose antecedent is the negation of the consequent. The new conditional statement obtained whose antecedent, antecedent means on the left hand side what do we write is the negation of the consequent and the consequent which we write on the right hand side is the negative antecedent negative antecedent of the original conditional statement it is known as contrapositive so this is contrapositive of a implies to p now next is tautology Suppose we create a truth table and in this truth table always we get the output as 1. This is called as a tautology. So A or 1 is a tautology. What do you mean by that? If the outcome of a compound proposition always results in true, it is called as a tautology. A compound proposition, this is a compound proposition A or 1, it is always true. So it will be called as a tautology. Next is contradiction. If I write here A 0 and A and 0 see what will happen a means either it will be 0 or 1 0 means it will always be 0 and if I write and it will be always 0 so what is the outcome when the outcome when the output of a compound proposition is always false it is called as a contradiction so a and 0 is a contradiction 
so these were the few terms which i would like you to understand one more term which is left here is contingency please write it when we construct a truth table when we construct a truth table the values applied in the columns may be zeros or ones if the final result of the truth table consists of a combination of zeros and ones it is called as contingency that means if it is not a tautology if it is not a contradiction then it is a contingency in tautology output is always one in contradiction output is always zero in contingency output may be a combination of zeros and ones these are the few terms which i wanted to discuss with you that is all in today's video thank you children